Have you ever contemplated the paramount role of parents in Islam? The Quran and Hadith, the guiding scriptures of Islam, lay a profound emphasis on the reverential stance towards parents. Let's begin with the Quranic verse from Surah Al-Isra, chapter 17, ayah 23, where it is said, Your Lord has decreed that you worship none but Him, and that you be kind to parents. This verse sets the two founding principles of Islam, monotheism and respect. The immediate mention of kindness to parents after the worship of Allah underlines its, its significance in the Islamic paradigm. Next, we refer to Surah An-Nal, chapter 16, ayah 96, which imparts, and we have enjoined upon man to his parents, good treatment. The phrase good treatment here is all embracing, including respect, obedience, kindness, and it is a lucid directive for all Muslims to treat their parents with the highest regards. Now turning to Hadith in Sahih Bukhari, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was asked, Who is most deserving of my good company? He replied, Your mother, then your mother, then your mother, then your father. This Hadith emphasizes the importance of honoring our mothers. Moving on, yet another verse from Surah Al-Ankabut, chapter 29, ayah 8, enforces the same principle. It states, and we have enjoined upon man goodness to his parents. The message is transparent and consistent. Goodness towards parents isn't just an advice, it's a divine commandment, a sacred responsibility for every Muslim. The teachings of Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, in Sahih Muslim also reinforces this. Paradise lies the feet of your mothers. This hadith signifies the esteemed status of mothers in Islam and the rewards of their treatment. Finally, Surah Al-Isra, chapter 17, ayah 24, beautifully encapsulates the attitude one should have towards parents. The Quran instructs, and lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy and say, my Lord, have mercy upon them as they brought me up small. This verse vividly illustrates an approach of humility, compassion, and perpetual prayers for parents' well-being. In a nutshell, the Quran and Hadith place monumental emphasis on the treatment of parents. They command believers to worship Allah and exhibit kindness to our parents, treating them with respect and care. It reminds us of the hardships our mothers bear and instills a sense of gratitude. Above all, it instructs us to be humble, merciful, and pray for our parents' well-being. These verses and hadiths aren't just directives. They are a blueprint for harmonious family life and a peaceful society. They encapsulate the Islamic ethos of respect, care, gratitude, humility and mercy. They remind us that our parents are not merely our guardians, but they are also our path to Allah, our gateway to paradise. Hence, kindness to parents stands next to the worship of Allah in Islam, which indeed speaks volumes about their importance in our lives and in our faith.